Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide and this is continuation of ADF tutorial. So today we are going to see about the pipelines and activities and we'll see in the detail. So what is the pipeline? So a pipeline is a logical grouping of the activities that perform a unit of work. So together the activities in a pipeline perform a task. For example, a pipeline can contain a group of the activities that ingest data from the Azure blob and then run the Hive query or HD inside cluster to partitioning the data. So what it means? Don't worry if you don't understand. You can only understand as of now pipeline is the very similar to the packages in the SSIS. In the pipeline we are going to do the work. Next is the activities. So activities in a pipeline defines the action to perform on your data. So activities basically we are going to do inside the pipeline what we want to do. For example, if we want to copy the data from SQL Server to the Azure Blob Storage, then we can use the copy activity. So copy is the activity by which we can do the copy. So this is very similar to the control flow task inside the SSIS. So go to on the portal and we'll try to understand in the practical. So this is the ADF that we have created in the previous video SSU training. So we are under this and here you can see this author tab inside this author tab. We can see the option for the pipeline and data sets, data flows, power query. So in this video, we are going to focus on the pipelines only. So in the pipeline, we are already having this pipeline. So we can ignore that. If we want to create any new pipeline, then we can see this three dots here. We can click on that. After that, we can see the new pipeline option. Second pipeline from the template or we, if we want to create any folder under this pipeline, then we can create the folder and under that folder, we can create the pipelines. So let me try to create a pipeline. Click on the new pipeline. So this is the new pipeline. So while you are going to create any pipeline, it is going to ask what the name of this pipeline you want to provide here. So that will be the copy data. So this will be the name. And after that, you can perform the description. So description could be, it is going to copy data from SQL to Azure blob. So such type of description you can provide. And after this property, here we can see the option for the activities. So under the activity, we are having the multiple options. We are going to see one by one in the upcoming videos. In this video, I am only drag and drop this copy data activity. And I'm not going to configure anything in this video. Only for the testing purpose, I have just drag and drop. Now, under this pipeline, we can see the option for the validate. So while we can click on the validate, so it is going to ask your copy data one, which is this one is required to have a source sync source type. And these are the required fields. So we have to provide those. So while we are going to validate, we can check that. Next, we can see the option for the debug. So here in the debug, while we are going to debug this, it will be going to execute whatever the activities that we have defined under this pipeline. So for running this, we are having two options. First option is the debug and second is the trigger. So by using these two options, we can execute our pipeline. So in our upcoming videos, we'll be going to see about the triggers and how we can execute that and how we can create the triggers and different types of the triggers we'll be going to see in upcoming videos. So here you can understand about the validate option, debug and add trigger. So these three options we can use. And after doing all the changes or creating the pipeline, we need to publish that. So here we can see the option for the publish all. We can click on that. So it is going to reflect an error because we are having these four required fields that we did not set up on this copy data one. Let me try to delete it from here. And now let me try to publish it. 
so again it is going to say your pipeline should have at least one activity because as of now we don't have any activity so i hope guys you have understand how we can create the pipelines and what are the activities and in the next videos we'll be going to see more inside the adf pipelines so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video